Hey guys, Dan with Dacboard here, back with another tutorial. Today, we're gonna go over how to set up and register your Dacboard wall display or your Dacboard CPU. So, let's jump into it. So the first step is to connect your wall display or CPU to your office or home Wi-Fi. I have my CPU powered up here, connected to a monitor behind me, ready to go. So on the screen, you'll see some setup instructions. First step is to connect a computer, a tablet, a phone, any internet connected device with a browser to the Dacboard Wi-Fi network. So we'll browse the available Wi-Fi networks, find the one it should say Dacboard dash, the serial number of your device, and then we'll enter the password. This should be shown on the setup screen. And this will connect your computer or your phone directly to the Dacboard device. It will kick off your Wi-Fi. So if you get a message about internet unavailable, uh, just say, okay, that's totally normal. And then once connected, we're gonna open up a web browser and we're gonna go to the following address. It's 10.0.0.5 and click go or press enter. Here we'll be presented with a, several options to configure on the Dacboard device itself. Uh, the first one we're gonna pick is the network. We'll select the network name, select the appropriate security type, and we'll enter the network password. While you're here, you can select the time zone. You can select the screen orientation if you want it in vertical. You can set the resolution. And there's also an on-off schedule. You can set multiple on-off schedules to have your device turn on or off throughout the day. Once we have all that configured, we will click Save Changes. And as soon as that comes back, you should see a message on the screen prompting you to restart your Dacboard device. So just unplug the power to the wall display or the CPU. And you can plug the power right back in. All right, so our Dacboard's loading back up after we restarted it. Next, we'll head over to Dacboard.com on a computer or a tablet. If you already have an account, go ahead and log in. If not, you can create an account. Now that our Dacboard's restarted, we should see that the network circle is highlighted green. This means we've connected to the Wi-Fi successfully. If you've entered your Wi-Fi information on the DAC board, restarted it, and are still not seeing the green circle around the network option, that means you've either entered the wrong password, the wrong security type, or selected the wrong network. So go ahead and check that. And now that we're logged into our DAC board account, click on Displays and Devices. Click on Add a Display. And we'll make sure that Register a DAC board product is selected here. Name it anything you like and enter the serial number found on your instructions or listed on the screen. And click Save Changes. All right, and once registered, the display should automatically update within a minute or two and start showing the default screen on your account. All right, there we have it. That board's all registered, up and running. If you run into any problems or have any questions, feel free to send us an email at contact at thatboard.com. Our support staff will be happy to help you. We also have a support site at dacboard.com slash support with a lot of good articles and tutorials there. So feel free to check that out. Thanks for watching.